Good morning, Hampton Roads. It's Sunday, August 31st. All the news, weather, and sports and more coming your way in the next two hours as we look at a live look right now at Virginia Beach Oceanfront. Thank you so much for joining us on 13 News Now at Daybreak. I'm Karen Hopkins filling in for Joe today, and it has been a clear and peaceful morning so far. Let's check in with meteorologist Julie Wilcox. Good morning, Julie, and you're expecting another hot summer day. Good morning, Karen. Thank you, Julie. Right now, Virginia Beach is getting ready for the annual Rock and Roll Half Marathon. More than 15,000 runners will participate in the Relay 5K and Half Marathons while rocking out to their favorite fans. The 5K and Half Marathon start in just under an hour at 7 and 13 News Now's Ashley Smith is down at the oceanfront as runners get ready to take off. Good morning, Ashley. Yeah. All right, thanks, Ashley. And also in Virginia Beach, police want to thank two people who helped save a heart attack victim at the oceanfront. Officers say this 65-year-old went into cardiac, cardiac arrest Friday night during the American Music Festival. Two people at 6th Street and the boardwalk saw that he was in trouble and jumped in to help him. When police arrived, one officer used an AED and the victim was awake and talking when paramedics took him away. Police are hoping to find those good Samaritans who helped save the man's life so that they can thank him. The search is on for a pilot in a plane crash near Wallops Island. Officials say the single engine plane was on its way to Manassas Regional Airport yesterday when something went wrong. The FAA says the pilot entered restricted airspace around Washington, D.C. They tried to reach him, but the pilot wasn't responding to radio calls. NORAD sent two F-16 fighter jets to escort the plane down when they noticed the pilot was unconscious. The plane eventually ran out of fuel and crashed off the coast of Wallops Island. The pilot was the only person on board. Crews are still looking for him. State police are investigating a deadly crash in Accomack County. Troopers say three people died when a van crossed into oncoming traffic and hit a car at the intersection of Lankford Highway and First Street, and that is in Keller. The driver of the car and two passengers died last night. Three more people are recovering from injuries. Police arrested the driver of the van for driving under the influence. He was not hurt. In Portsmouth, police say a driver may have been driving under the influence when he hit a pedestrian. Police say the crash happened at London Boulevard and Glasgow Street around 9.30 last night. Officers arrived and found a man who had been hit by a car. Medics took him to Maryview Medical Center with non-life-threatening injuries. He's expected to be okay. Police say a DUI investigation is underway right now, but no charges have been filed this morning. There's much more ahead on 13 News Now at daybreak. A lot of people will be relaxing at the beach this weekend, but not these people. As you can see, they've got a workout. Hear how this group is inspiring others to sweat on the sand. And then try to keep cool when you head out the door. Julie is tracking a rise in temperatures. Find out how the heat could affect your holiday plans coming up in Julie's forecast. Daybreak. This is 13 News Now. Good morning, everyone. I'm Julie Wilcox. And I'm Karen Hopkins, in for Joe this morning. And Julie, you have a good beach forecast for us this morning. Thanks, Julie. Tens of thousands of people are at the oceanfront this weekend to help say goodbye to summer. AAA Tidewater says more than 840,000 Virginians are on the road for Labor Day weekend. That number is up from last year, partially because of lower gas prices. Officials say expect delays because of the extra traffic. You can stay ahead of any traffic problems with the 13 News Now Traffic Network. Head to our website, wvc.com, for the latest gas prices and traffic warnings. And stay ahead of any backups with our live traffic cameras. Right now, the downtown tunnel is open in both directions in order to help handle the holiday weekend. Single lane closures, you know, have been in place uh, on the weekends as part of an ongoing rehab project. Now, usually the work requires the tunnel to close from Friday night through Monday morning. Those closures will resume again next weekend. In other news, the federal corruption trial against former Governor Bob McDonnell and his wife is almost over. The jury this week will begin deliberations. During closing arguments Friday, defense attorneys said the prosecutors don't have any evidence the couple was actually bribed and said this case should have never gone to trial in the first place. Prosecutors, though, disagreed and told the jury that McDonnell's actions demonstrate an implied agreement. Jurors will receive their instructions Tuesday morning, and then they'll start deliberating. Our reporter, Nick Oxner, will be in Richmond there. Until there is a verdict, you can follow him on Twitter for any updates. 
A crime alert from Virginia Beach. Police are looking for the person who robbed a Bank of America yesterday morning. Officers say the person you see here in this surveillance footage held up the location on Independence Boulevard in the Haygood Shopping Center. He had a gun and left the bank in a stolen car just after 1130 in the morning. He abandoned that car in Pembroke Crossing Apartments. Shoppers say they saw police officers swarm the area and they knew something was wrong. First, just a helicopter swarming around, thought somebody was on a run or something, and then they kept circling us. Police say the robber was described as five foot nine, medium build. He wore a black jacket and jeans. If you have any information about him, you're asked to call the crime line. One person is recovering after a car wreck at the intersection of Lynn Haven Parkway and Independence Boulevard in Virginia Beach. It happened around eight o'clock last night. Please tell us the van was trying to turn left on Independence Boulevard when it hit a large SUV. The crash caused the van to roll over on its side. The driver of the van was taken to the hospital. They're expected to be okay. There is no word yet on the condition of the driver in the SUV. Police are looking for a driver accused of hitting a teenager and then leaving. Newport News police say they're looking for a maroon minivan that hit a 14-year-old on Jefferson Avenue Friday night. He and another teenager were riding their bikes in a badly lit part of the road when the van hit him and dragged his bike for a short distance. Officers say the driver got out of his car, pulled the bike off, and then left. The 14-year-old is still in the hospital with a head injury. If you know anything about this case, please ask you to call the crime line. The European Union fires a strong warning at Russia. Stop invading Ukraine or face consequences. New this morning, hear how President Obama is involved in new economic sanctions. And then it'll be a busy holiday weekend at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. But will the weather cooperate with your Labor Day plans? Find out next in U.S. Forecast. New this morning, the European Union is cracking down on Russia. The EU announced yesterday that they're preparing to slap Russia with tougher economic sanctions over its invasion of Ukraine. Officials say the measure is to send a clear message to Russia not to start a confrontation. Sanctions or restrictive measures are just ways means or instruments. The new sanctions could be adopted as early as this week. U.S. officials say they completely support the decision and are working closely with the EU to hold Russia accountable. The Russian-Ukraine conflict is a big item on the agenda for the NATO summit next week in Wales. Protests have resumed in the streets of Ferguson, Missouri. Protesters were back out on the streets last night after days of relative quiet. Crowds gathered in front of the Ferguson Police Department demanding justice for 18-year-old Michael Brown. Brown was shot and killed by a Ferguson police officer earlier this month during a confrontation. Protests and march marches were held throughout the city as demonstrators gathered for a national march on Ferguson. A nine-year-old girl is dead after she was trapped in a collapsed sand cave. Rescuers pulled her from the huge hole in Lincoln, Oregon. She wasn't breathing. Emergency crews tried to revive her but couldn't. They called it a tragedy. When it's a call like this, uh, when it's a young child that's either a drowning or, or any kind of accident like this that turns out to be a fatality, it's very hard on the responders. It's very hard on the community. People place flowers and candles at the hole, which is now filled in. New this morning, a water main break is keeping construction crews busy in Louisville, Kentucky. The break sent water gushing into nearby roads and caused localized flooding. Officials say several roads are closed while crews repair the damage. No word yet on what caused this leak. Severe weather in the south. Homeowners are wading through ankle-deep water inside their homes in Louisiana. You're looking at one neighborhood that was flooded by the heavy rain. Homeowners don't have much choice but to watch as the rain continues to fall and tally up all the damage. It's a lot of water, and if you can see, it's about to my ankle, and I'm in the uh, kitchen part of my house. Horrible situation there. The National Weather Service has put the area under a flash flood warning through the night.